Well, hey, my friends, I'm here with Roger Goldberg. Roger, it's beautiful out here. Thanks for coming out. Well, look, long time uh, follower, first time on the show. Thanks for having me. And uh, you can't get a better environment than this. I'm gonna look you in the eye, by the way, here, Roger, and uh, ask you, what are the hot topics here at Uretna from your point of view? Great question. I'd say a ton of work being done on artificial intelligence. This is a hot topic in every aspect of life. How do we predict which patients are gonna get worse, which patients might respond best to a certain therapy or not? And how do we automate those into our workflows? We're like literally at the tip of the iceberg. Second thing I think is gene therapy, not just for rare diseases, but for common diseases like macular degeneration. Part of the reason we're so busy in retina is we have these great therapies, but they require being injected into people's eyes every month or every other right. month. And so how do we get drugs and medicines that achieve the same results, but with less frequent injections. What else is out there besides uh, needles and eyes for delivery? There are oral agents. There's some being developed for geographic atrophy, the advanced drive form. There are subcutaneous injections. There's a whole class of drugs called TKIs, and these, yes. these can last anywhere from six to 12 months. I don't think an injection in the eye is, is so bad. It's like monthly injections into the eye is like the problem we're trying to solve for. Hey, Matt. What? It's pretty hot out here. I see you're kind enough to bring us some Le de Mer Rosé. Well, you okay if I crack this open? Crack it open, Roger. Let's get it going. Perfect. So you can handle a retina, Roger. Let's see if you can handle a bottle. I know. Pressure's on here. Good. All right. Here we go, sir. All right. Oh. Well, Roger, here's to a great day in Paris. Wonderful spending some time with you at Uretna. All right. Salut. Uh, Roger. Since you were so handy with the wine bottle, I'm going to have to reward you with uh, a little something special here. Do you have any idea what I'm talking about? I think I have an idea. <laughs> you are known for a certain uh, a certain piece of apparel. I knew the jackets before yeah. I knew you. Well, you said the magic word, Roger. So we're gonna we're gonna do you a little favor here. And here we are, Roger, with some very fine tailoring. Now, is this Bebe Koyan's finest Ooh. tailor? I gotta stand for this bad boy. Yes. Wow. Can I try it on for fit here? Wow. All right, what do you, am I a media mouse or what? You are a media mouse. All Welcome right. to the club. Oh man, thank you, I appreciate <laughs> it. There we go. Well, cheers again, Roger. Great to have you out once again on the scene. And uh, tell me a little bit about this topic of healthcare from the eye. I think it's fascinating to be able to do some imaging uh, for, for general healthcare issues. Tell me what you know. A lot of the work that we focus on is like imaging for the retinal diseases, identifying diseases, but it turns out there's so much we can do and artificial intelligence, again, is gonna be a game changer here, but imaging through the eye for the overall health of the body. And we're gonna be able to tell if a patient has heart failure or is on fluid overload and at risk for heart failure. Identifying patients either at risk or with Alzheimer's disease based on your ability to do a retinal scan. Mm. And I think it'll be, this will raise a whole new level of like complexity about, I don't know, health insurers and payers and how are they gonna cover it? And are we gonna get to a world where like, maybe it's at every single CVS or Walmart pharmacy, a patient walks in and they do a retinal scan. It's not like, go see the retina doc, you've got diabetes in the eyes. It's gonna be, go see your primary care doctor because you've got all these other diseases. So it's gonna be a totally different landscape. People worry about getting like put out of work. Yeah. I think in the near to medium term, it's actually just gonna make us incredibly busy, and then we're gonna have to rely on it to be more productive. You know, one of the companies that's advancing that uh, healthcare from the eye is Topcon. Is it, is it really, you know, those types of products that are gonna be able to do that? They've been like assembling a whole suite of technologies, and they brought in um, Daniela Ferrara, who is um, a retina specialist and well-known kind of imaging expert in our field. They have a uh, cloud-based uh, image management software that's actually machine agnostic. So you can upload to the cloud images that you take on any system. In general, I'm in favor of agnostic approaches because what I don't want is where we live in a world where like, okay, there's the owned algorithm for GA progression. I think we want to get to something where there's like 
a universal consensus that we can all collaborate between, you know, the physicians, uh, uh, the academy, industry, maybe government, and that's really going to help move the field forward. I'm just glad it's not healthcare from the jackets because, you know, then everything just melts down. I think if you look at this jacket too long, you actually might like get a corneal burn. <laughs> <laughs>